Welcome back to Don Tuam TV, folks. Hit that notification bell so you're notified when I drop new videos. Like this video, comment underneath whenever you have questions and I'm gonna get back to you. I was just thinking, we're in this whole era of like trying to be a good person and all that. And this shit is just fucking stupid. Like, let's just be honest about it, bro. Like that shit dumb as fuck. I'm gonna tell you a story. And this is one of the main reasons why I do not give a fuck about trying to be a good person anymore, bro. Hell no. At the end of the day, bro, the only thing that really matters is pleasure in this life, and that's it. I was in this restaurant one time. I was a cook there, and the servers run into the back, and they're like, hey, we got a lady out here who's choking. We need you. In my head, I'm thinking, why the fuck you motherfuckers need me, bro? Like, out of all the people in this building, y'all motherfuckers need me. Here's the thing, bro. Look at me. Y'all see my vibe. Y'all see my aura. That's why they came to me. So... I run out there and this old ass lady is choking on her food, bro. So I do the Heimlich on her. This probably lasts maybe two and a half minutes, bro, of me performing the Heimlich on this trick. While I was doing it, she seemed like she was getting better. Um, she wasn't choking as much. You know, probably about five, six minutes into it, the ambulance showed up and I left her alone after that and they took over. But here's the thing, when she started choking, she's sitting there with her grown ass grandson. And I was in my early 20s, so he was like, bro, we were probably the same age. Like he looked like he was my age, if not older. So I'm doing all this while her grandson sat there and watched, bro. Like this fool didn't say nothing. This fool didn't try to save her, none of that shit, bro. And I'm thinking all these years later, this bitch never came back, bro. Like this bitch never came back and said, Thank you. This bitch never came back and said, you know, here's $2,500 for saving my fucking life. It's like, I get it. You might be able to throw me like a hundred bands for something like that, but you feel me? Maybe you ain't got it like that. But throw a brother something, you feel me? Like, how somebody gonna save your life and you pay absolutely no type of respects to them for that, bro? And it just showed me, bro, that when you do the best thing you can do for somebody, they still are just gonna run off with the favor and they won't repay you for it. Like, there's no more, there, there's no homage when it comes to this, this good moral world. Then it's like, it's literally the best thing that you can give to somebody, saving their life. It's not giving them life in the first place. You know what I mean? Cause there's a distinct feeling that nobody recalls about just being here in the first place. But when someone saves your life, um, it almost comes with this spiritual transformation, you know, it, 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 um, to have your life saved, especially when you come that close with something like death, it's the greatest gift you can have. It's better than a million dollars, you know, it's better than a billion dollars having your life saved. It's even before that. I mean, some people would probably say it's better, you know, having your limb saved is better than a million dollars. But I mean, that's, that's for you to decide. I mean, ask yourself, would you, I mean, how much would it cost for you to amputate a limb? Like how, how much would someone have to pay you to do that? Look, you don't have to uh, stand over me. You don't have to be my guardian angel. You don't have to save my life in return. Like I'll just take death whenever it comes, but do the next best thing, bro, which is the other comparison, the money, the million dollars, which all I'm saying is like, bitch, I saved your life. Like just throw a nigga like 2,500 or something. You feel me? People won't even do that. Never heard from her grandson again, never heard from anybody in her family, never heard from her again. And this is one of the main reasons why you should give up on trying to be a good person. And don't feel too guilty about giving up on that, you know, because everybody else may not tell you this, but the feeling is mutual. These motherfuckers don't give a fuck about you. Fuck them. Stop trying to be good.